Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, I'm going to be continuing the early spring decorating now that the spring season is officially here. I have shared all the spaces in our home for early spring decorating and they are in my spring 2024 playlist if you would like to check those out. I definitely took a more neutral, simplistic approach for that. But now that the spring season is officially here, I'm going to be bringing in some more pops of color and liveliness to just brighten up the space, but still keep it welcoming and calm so it's nice and relaxing to wind in after a long day. So I'm excited to share with you guys and let's get right into it. So I'm starting off today with this gauze throw blanket that is from Home Goods. They have some really good neutral options. It's nice because it's light enough for the spring and summer months, but also brings a lot of texture to the space. For pillow covers, I used this beautiful floral one for my early spring decorating. I paired these with a more neutral one from the same shop as well, but for spring decorating, I picked up this really pretty and budget-friendly linen cover from Amazon, and it just perfectly ties in some of the green tones of the floral one. On the other side, I also picked up this throw blanket from Amazon. It's a beautiful green color and is super lightweight, perfect for the spring and summer months, but also ties in really nicely with the floral pattern pillow and is a very similar color to the pillow covers that I also picked up. And to help bring in some warmth, I got this really pretty velvet pillow from Home Goods. It's just a one-sided one, but it's a nice long lumbar and it really ties in nicely with the floral pattern pillow. And to add some texture to the smaller couch, I'm using this knit throw blanket. It is older from Target. They always have something similar. If not, you can always find something on Amazon and adding the same green pillow cover as well as another floral one. On the side table here, I did decide to leave this Walmart vase with these darker green stems in it. I just I like how subtle of a touch it is. It still adds some color and some visual interest, but it's not another floral stem in the mix. So it's a more calm way of adding some greenery in the space. I'm going to add this faux book box again to add another pop of color in the space. And on top of it, I'm going to add this brass floral candle holder I recently found antique shopping. I really love to keep this side table styled very much the same, just to keep things simple. But I'm going to switch it out for the Call It Home book. And I'm adding the same antique jug with some eucalyptus stems and that brass basket just to add a small detail. And on this side table here, I'm going to start off with this linen book box just to add some texture and height. And we're going to add this wood jug. I think it adds a lot of warmth. And just like that other corner one, I like to just keep everything very similar and just swap out my florals just to keep it more simple. The stem I'm going to be adding is this faux gardenia one. This one is from Prestige Botanicals. I will say it was quite, quite pricey. It is so realistic though. I only ordered one because it just, it was very, very pricey, but 
I think it's the perfect touch to just add one to a side table just like this and can still make a really big statement with only one stem. And the last touch here is this brass oval frame with this dried floral stem. I found this antique shopping with Sky recently and I thought it was just such a nice touch to be able to add. For the coffee table styling, I'm starting off with this Kinfolk Garden coffee table book. It's this beautiful green color. I recently found this at Home Goods, and it's such a great way of being able to learn a little bit more about a subject, but also is a beautiful styling moment. So I'm going to switch up the vase that I've had on the coffee table for this beautiful stone one that was from Home Goods. I love the texture, but also lightness that it brings. For the spring season, I really like to go in a more delicate direction with my floral stems. So I'm actually going to be using these teacup roses. These were from hearth in hand last summer actually and I just love how dainty and delicate they are. I did see a similar option I want to say it was in a pink color at Michael's this year if you're looking to find something similar but I will also try to round up some other options to link for you guys as well but I really love these but as they are like this they're very pretty and sparse, but I wanna have a more layered full look. So I'm going to layer in some of these seeded eucalyptus stems that I have. These are from Michaels and they come in a 12 pack. So they are a little pricey up front. However, whenever I use them in an arrangement, I like to use about five or six in each. So you actually can get a long way with it and it's still a very budget friendly option, but there is a similar one on Etsy as well that I will have linked down below. For a simple touch, I love to layer in bells and I love the daintiness and delicacy of this smaller etched one I recently found antique shopping. And for some simple styling on the wooden riser, I'm adding this Minka candle from Anthropology, as well as this iron candle snuffer. And here is a finished look at how the living room space came together for the spring season.
So that is going to wrap up today's video, friends. I sure hope you enjoyed and got some decorating ideas and inspiration for what you can do in your living room spaces. In case you missed my last video, I shared four different ways you can style your entryway space for the spring season. So definitely be sure to check that out. My next video, we're going to be doing four different ways to style your coffee table for the spring season. So in case you guys are not subscribed already, I would love for you to join my YouTube family and ding the notification bell. It will alert you anytime I have a new upload. As always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here today, and I will see you in my next video, friends. Bye.